Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Ever needed Microsoft 365, but balked at the price tag? Yeah, me too. So many of us rely on programs like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, but those subscriptions can really put a dent in your wallet. Well, what if I told you there's a fantastic, completely free alternative that's just as powerful? In this video, we're diving into LibreOffice, a completely free and open source suite of programs that can handle almost anything you throw at it. We'll explore its key features, how it compares to Microsoft 365, and I'll even show you how to get it set up and running in minutes. So, if you're ready to ditch the subscription fees and embrace free software, stick around. Let's get started. Now, let's get LibreOffice installed on your computer. The process is actually quite straightforward. First, you'll want to head over to the official LibreOffice website. I'll put a link in the description below so you can easily find it. Once you're there, you'll need to choose the correct version for your operating system, whether it's Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. Make sure you select the right one. After you've downloaded the installer, locate the file on your computer, usually in your downloads folder, and double click it to begin the installation. You'll likely be greeted with a setup wizard. Just follow the on-screen instructions. Most of the time, the default settings are perfectly fine, so you can usually just click next through the prompts. The installation might take a few minutes, so be patient. Once it's finished, you should have LibreOffice installed and ready to go. That's it. You now have LibreOffice installed and ready to use. We've covered the download, installation, and a quick look at some of its key features. Hopefully, this video has shown you just how powerful and, most importantly, free this alternative to Microsoft 365 can be. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more free software tips and tutorials. Let me know in the comments below what you plan to use LibreOffice for. I'd love to hear about it. And if you have any questions about the installation process or anything else we covered, don't hesitate to ask. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.